Hybrid powertrains introduce a form of electrification into the automotive market. But what is the technology and its different versions? I'm Phil Curry here with another entry into the AutoVista 24 What Is Explainer series. If you want to know what the latest automotive terms mean or how new technologies work, then check out the AutoVista 24 YouTube channel. And while you're there, why not like and subscribe to ensure that you don't miss out on our great video feature content. Hybrid technology has existed in one form or another in the automotive market almost as long as the internal combustion engine itself, but it did not achieve mass market status until the mid to late 1990s. Since then, millions of hybrids have been sold worldwide, changing driver perceptions about what is possible when adding electric elements into modern vehicles. But what constitutes a hybrid vehicle in the modern automotive market? Hybrid vehicles feature an electric motor and an internal combustion engine. This is what makes them a hybrid, mixing two types of propulsion technologies into one model. The engine and battery work together or independently to power the vehicle. Depending on the type of hybrid, this can help to reduce emissions and lower fuel consumption, meaning a tank of fuel will give you a greater range. There are three main types of hybrid technologies, mild hybrids or MHEVs, full hybrids or HEVs, and plug-in hybrids or FEVs. MHEVs are hybrids that feature a very small battery to store electrical energy and cannot travel at all on electric power alone. They often run on a 48 volt system, higher than standard petrol and diesel models, allowing the electrical system to power components that were previously run from the engine itself, allowing it to operate more efficiently. In addition, the battery is used to provide a boost to acceleration, especially when pulling away from a standing start. It is difficult to track the popularity of MHEVs as these models are treated differently by automotive bodies. Some will merge them into their hybrid market. Others will merge them into their respective petrol and diesel markets, while others will also make them a standalone powertrain type. This means it is not clear how well the technology is performing across Europe. HEVs are the most common type of hybrid and are sometimes referred to as self-charging hybrids or parallel hybrids. These feature a slightly bigger battery than MHEVs and are able to store more energy. They are able to be charged via regenerative braking or from the internal combustion engine itself. HEVs are also able to travel on electric power only. However, they can only do this for a short range, often between one or two miles at a time. This means that the electric motor can handle heavy acceleration, such as that required to pull away from a standing start, with the combustion engine kicking in to pick up once underway. This helps reduce fuel consumption, especially when driving in built-up areas. FEVs are seen as a bridging technology between internal combustion engines and battery electric vehicles. They feature the largest battery of any hybrid technology alongside a petrol or diesel engine. As well as being charged by the engine and braking systems, this battery is also charged by plugging the vehicle into a charging point, such as you would do with a battery electric vehicle. This is the best way to take full advantage of the system. The car can be driven either using the engine or the battery systems. FEVs therefore are able to travel at greater distances on electric only power. Some models claim a range of up to 100 miles on the battery alone, with the average being around 50 to 60 miles. Once this electrical energy is depleted, the car will automatically switch to its internal combustion engine, meaning drivers do not have to worry about locating their nearest charging point if they want to continue their journey. Hybrids offer a good alternative to traditional internal combustion engine vehicles, but having that ICE element means that in Europe, they're likely to be phased out by 2035, when the continent moves to ban sales of non-zero emission new cars. If you want to find out more about new automotive technologies, visit the AutoVista 24 YouTube channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also look out for the AutoVista 24 podcast, 
available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Amazon Music. And visit autovista24.com, where you can find the latest news stories and market analysis. Thanks for watching.